Welcome back, everybody. And, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for, um, watching the last video I made. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Yeah, so, as you all probably heard by now, there's this guy, this really dangerous guy who's gonna fight Idub. He's got nothing to do with the whole Idub thing. He, he's, he's not even, even mad about what he said to Tana. He's just mad about, he just needs a reason, you know. So... Let's jump straight in into why he wants to fight Idubs. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That face. That face, okay? That's the face of freaking terror, dude. Like, if, if I saw that guy, I would run, dude. I would run the fuck away. Cause that, that face was like, holy shit. <sighs> you know, I wasn't gonna make this video, but apparently you didn't get the memo. So roll the fucking clip. I'm going to VidCon this year, like I did last year. And iDubs, this is a message to you. If I see you, I'm gonna come holler at you. And no, we ain't gonna be having no one-on-one -on -one discussion. No, it's not gonna be no interview. And no, it's not gonna be a debate. If I see you, I'm gonna come holler at you. Now. This is a challenge, because I know how the internet is with threats. It's no threat, it's a challenge. I'm gonna challenge you to a fight. You're challenging someone to fight you over the fucking internet, dude. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that you're gonna do it, I'm just saying when the time comes, you might not even do it. I, I know how this shit works, bro. He's probably gonna come to VidCon, you know, and you, you're gonna be in the back with your dead-ass channel, and you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, um, I probably should have fight a light up, but you know, um, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, that's probably how it's gonna be, dude. Don't, don't preach it if you can't keep it. I'm making this known now, so that way you don't get confused later on. If you see this video, which I'm sure you will, this is a challenge. But Minnesota boy, you just wanna fight him because he said the N word, you fucking hypocrite. And this is the logic of the internet, by the way, not me. You made it about race. So, let me clear this up. <clears throat> Black power. Okay, hold up. Who made it about race again? I mean, you, you, you're the one who wants to fight someone for, as far as I know, saying the N-word in a jokingly way. Because us, as IDOPS fans, you know, we know that he everything he says in his videos is basically just a joke. It's it's not it's not even meant in a serious way, dude. Chill the fuck out, would ya? See, we've been fucking shit up since we've been here on the planet, and us black people are the original people, so you're gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> Watch white people go crazy. I'm just fucking with you. Anyways, here's the clip everybody thinks I'm bitching about. By the way, to all the white people, <laughs> I'd up saying nigger didn't offend me. Wait, so you, you're not calling him out to saying the n-word, then what exactly are you calling him out for? Like, I'm I'm more than excited to find out exactly what you're calling him out for then. Is it, is it just because you wanted some, some shit going on in your life that you decided, oh yeah, that's a white boy and I'm black, so let's just call him out. So, that would make me a hypocrite. So the whole race thing, just drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Okay, so you ready for the real reason why I wanted to fight iDubs? Remember that shitty reactor named Jinx who iDubs called out two years ago? He wanted to set up a boxing match to fight Jinx because his content was shit. But then, wait, wait, wait. So, so you you're calling him out because he didn't fight someone back in the day. So now you decided that oh you know what I'm just gonna fight you because you didn't actually fight that guy back in the day. So I'm making this all about me because I'm such an important fucking person. Really, dude. Really. And I dub suggested that the argument should turn physical. He said this, I'd say we do a charity MMA fight to settle our differences. My charity is the cancer one. And Jinx responded by saying, set it up. Now I actually have a contact over to Celebrity Boxing, so I've sent uh, a message over there. I pinged them. I'm waiting. Okay, yeah, I actually do remember that from back in the day. But still, dude, why? Um, they they clearly didn't do it, as far as I know. So why not just leave it in the past instead of making it all into you? Are you? Are you? Where did you start that that kid back in school? And we're like. 
Oh yeah, um, I didn't get asked the, uh, the the question like about the answer, so I'm just gonna answer it anyways and uh, act like it was all about me, okay? Because um, I'm such an important person. Waiting for them to ping me back. If we could set this up like a boxing match between the two, it would be amazing. So at the time, Mr. Macho Man was trying to set up a boxing match for charity, and his reason to fight Jinx was because his content was shit. So by that logic, he was a perfect candidate for the fight. Now we fast forward to 2017, and because of iDubs, the Alex meme and the nigga word has been repeated on his channel, knowing what the fuck he's doing. That's a joke, dude. Okay, I don't know if um, if you actually know the true meaning as to why he's choosing it, but maybe you should do your freaking research before you, you start to want to fight people over something that you don't know shit about, okay? Doing ...is influencing his fans to openly say it, thus not being empathetic to people whom it offends. And also, since it's part of his content, which I find shitty, is another re Okay, just real, just real quick, okay? I said it in my last video, I'm gonna say it again. Because some of you clearly didn't get the memo then, okay? I've got black friends who don't mind you saying the n-word unless you mean it in a degrading way towards them. If you're just greeting them in a fun way like, Yo, what up my nigga? They'll be like, what up cracker? Or something, you know, they'll, they'll do the fun back. Like, you know, it's sort of like a fun little like knuckle to shoulder fight with your friends. That, that, that's all there is to it. Don't stop taking it so seriously, dude. Or like maybe control back a few hundred years and then you can take it as serious as you do. Stop it, dude. Stop it. Get some help. You're acting like a black supremacist right now and that's not cool. You're making a fool out of yourself and nobody clearly agrees with you. Reason to fight him, because he did the same thing to Jinx. I think it's kind of corny that IDUB said nigger to Tana Mojo, but would be afraid to say it to me or another African American. After all, he was the first to call people out on shitty content and wanted to box them, so why can't I do it? Hmm. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, dude, as I said, that's easy. It's not about you, okay? Why, dude? You, you clearly made this all about you, and that's why I'm making a video about it, because now you want all the attention, so let's give you the fucking attention that you want, okay? Yeah, I'm probably gonna, you're probably gonna be like, oh yeah, you're just one of them white guys who got fucking mad about it. Yeah, of course, no, I'm not fucking mad, dude. I'm just stating the fucking truth and the facts about that you're clearly being stupid little shit. Sense. Now hold on before the video ends, I gotta do it. I gotta eat for you motherfuckers one time before the video ends because you came at me sideways yesterday. So drop the ether beat. First of all, when the fuck did I ever threaten this man with violence? In my- Oh, oh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know when you actually threaten this man with violence. Let, let, let's see real quick, okay, shall we? So, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to VidCon this year, like I did last year. And iDubs, this is a message to you. If I see you, I'm gonna come holler at you. Oh, let's see. I'm fighting iDubs for using the N-word. Okay, see, there you have it. You actually did threaten him as to you want to fight him. And as far as I know, that's pretty fucking illegal. I like, I, I can't just go up to someone in the street because they did said something wrong and be like, Yo, dude, I'm gonna fucking fight you. I'm gonna punch you the fuck out right here in this fucking parking lot. No, I, I can't do that because that's against the fucking law, dude. Get, get some fucking sense into your little stupid head, okay? Because you clearly don't have any, and everybody clearly knows that you don't have any fucking sense in your life. So, seriously, think before you speak, and state the obvious instead of trying to run from the goddamn truth. Because everyone watching it can clearly see the bullshit that's coming from your mouth as to when you say you didn't threaten IDOPS. Well, first of all, the title is, I'm fighting IDOPS for using the N-word. And then in the other video, you go again and say, I didn't threaten him in any way. I didn't say anything as to, I want to use violence against him. Well, what's what, what's fighting someone then? Isn't that violence? Aren't you going to fight someone? Well, like, as far as I know, fighting means you like, physical punching, dude. Okay. So, maybe, uh, maybe think. Video, you can clearly hear me say, I challenge you to a fight. How do you mix those two up? You see, there's a difference between challenging somebody to a fight and saying I'm just going to fight you and beat you up. Now that's violence. You don't hear me say that. But I'm using the same logic that he did to Jinx, so by that logic, I should be able to set up a fight too. It's no, because the other one was clearly not the way that you described that thing, okay? You, you got really butthurt over something that had nothing to do with you, and now, you, now, now you're using your sense. Oh yeah. 
this happened like a while back, so I'm just gonna reuse it and say, oh yeah, know what, Idubs, I'm gonna fucking fight you because you said then what. Although I'm trying to make it seem like it's not that, but still, okay. Especially for a charity event. But it's okay for him to do it, but it's not okay for me to do it. And somehow you motherfuckers run the narrative that I was being violent. Of course it's not okay for you to do it because it's got nothing to do with you. For fuck's sake, dude, okay? It's got nothing to do with you. And it's clearly over. Nothing happened because, you know, they, they're clearly both grown-ups and it probably came to the conclusion, okay, maybe this is not really as smart as we thought it would be. So maybe if you can act a fucking grown-up that you are instead of acting like a fucking piece of loaf bread on the internet, then maybe you would actually get more love from people and, and people would respect you instead of fucking hating on you. Like, this video's got, like, 5,000 dislikes, dude. Okay, 5,000 dislikes. And only 200 likes. Like, maybe. Maybe listen to the audience, okay? And I wanted to fight him because he threw the nigger word in there, so I was mad. No, I wasn't mad because I even said then, if I'm making videos about white people and offending them, then I shouldn't have a problem with them saying nigger. I shouldn't. And that's what I just said. I didn't have a problem with that. So why the fuck did y'all throw the race word in there? You see? So you're saying that you... At first you said that you had a problem with him saying the N-word because in your other video you titled it I'm gonna fight Idubs for using the N-word and now you're saying that you don't have a problem with people using the N-word. Can you, like, get your fucking mind together and decide, like, whether or not you're okay with people using it or whether or not you wanna fucking punch people because they use it, okay? See, that's the logic that you motherfuckers try to have, but that doesn't make sense. Not to mention, he attacked Jinx for his content, then I should be able to set up a fight. Let's go ahead and talk about Tana Mojo. So I was trying to fight him because his content is horrible. And going up to a white girl saying nigger because she said it isn't badass. You want to know what's badass? Setting up a boxing match between us, donating to charity, and also having Keemstar host a match as a commentator because that shit sounds good to me. And I dubs, if you're watching this, say Okay, so the conclusion today is that if someone did something that has nothing to do with you, then you should definitely jump into it because it's got everything to do with you. And you shouldn't use the n-word because I'm not okay with it, but at the other hand, I don't really give a shit because it changes my mind constantly. Where's the logic in you saying that? Because I, I can't see it, okay? So maybe think twice before you state something that's totally fucking bullshit. That's all for me. If you can make it into something about him, then so can I. Make it into something about me. Because this is just someone needs to call you out for real in this shit. Regardless, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I know that you don't really see the serious side of me as much. But whenever I see bullshit, I just have to call people out on it. On it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And... Uh, Stay lit fam, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, my nuggets. Blah. Yeah, and by the way, um, Minnesota boy, um, I call people nuggets because that's what I do. It's It's got nothing to do with niggas. I made a, a little fun video about it some time ago. Maybe you should go watch that. Okay, cool. I eat my dinner in my bathtub. Then I go to sex clubs. Watch